hands up, don't shoot. Most people are holding your hands up in a sign to protest for Mike Brown. Everybody's walking around saying, hands up, don't shoot, because he surrendered to the officer who shot him dead. Most people think when your hands go up, it's to, it's to surrender to something. For instance, when the police pull you over, you throw your hands up to show it as a sign of surrendering. Or when someone pulls a gun on you, you throw your hands up as a sign to say, I'll give it up, I'll surrender, don't hurt me. But what if, what if, just what if, if you threw your hands up to surrender everything that's going on to you or with you to Christ? What if, if you threw your hands up and said, Lord, your will be done in my life, you threw your hands up as a sign of surrendering? We're challenging you today to not just throw your hands up as a surrendering sign to the police. We're challenging you, challenging you today to not just throw your hands up as a sign of surrendering if somebody is robbing you, but we're challenging you today to throw your, your hands up as a sign of surrendering to Christ. Yes. We're challenging you today. When your hands go up, you're saying, Lord, your will be done. You're saying, Lord, I'm tired of whatever's going on in my life. You're saying, Lord, I surrender my will for your will. So we're challenging you today to surrender. It's getting ready to be a Holy Ghost stick up within the last few uh, days in the year of 2014. Because as you begin to walk in 2015, God is going to take complete control over the people's lives who surrender to him. So it's getting ready to be a Holy Ghost stick up when the Lord comes in and place these handcuffs on your hands. When the Lord comes in and place these shackles on your feet, you're not going to be able to go the places you used to go anymore. You're not going to be able to do the things you used to do no more. When, when me and Prophet Tristan was locked up, for the people who's never been locked up before, you have to do what they tell you to do. They tell you when to eat. They tell you when to sleep. You might want to get out and go to the club. You might want to get out and go to your mom's house and eat. But you can't do that. When cuffs are on you, when you're chained, when you're shackled, you're not able to do the things you used to do no more. Because your freedom has been taken. You've surrendered your freedom to the facility or the corrections office that you're in. So, it's getting ready to be a Holy Ghost stick up within the last few days of 2014. But this Holy Ghost stick up that the Lord is bringing, it's only for the people who are willing to throw their hands up and surrender. Do you have anything you want to say to the people, Prophet? Let God lead you. Let him give you direction. Yes. If he don't go, don't go. That's going to be the surrender. Whenever he grab you and try to keep you, a lot of times we think he's trying to harm us, yes. but it's only protect, to protect you. Stick to him. Let him hold you up. It's getting ready to be a Holy Ghost stick up in the year, the ending year of 2014. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be crazy for all your friends to catch the blessings. It's going to be crazy for all your friends to get the deliverance and the healing because they chose to hold their hands up and surrender to Christ and for you to miss out. So I am challenging me and the prophet. We're challenging you before the year end of 2014. So many people doing the fire bucket challenge. So many people doing the pass out challenge. So many people doing the ice challenge. We're, cha we're challenging you to allow the Lord to give you a Holy Ghost stick up. We're challenging you to listen. The prophet was a stick up type of guy back in the days. He used to rob. He used to slang. And when he pulled his gun, you know, on people, it's the past because he's been, uh, been delivered for it. Thank God he's been delivered from it. But when he used to uh, pull his guns on people and say, give it up, what, what would they do, prophet? How would they hold their hands? They would lift their hands up. It was all, it would always be a separation between the ballers and the stick up kid. Mm. I was more of a baller. But when the stick up kid came, you had to give your hands up. That's it. And you don't just give them half of the stuff. You had to be a stupid stick up kid Woo! to take half of the stuff. Yes. And leave the other half. You know, that's just Woo! like the movie Shotters. <laughs> the movie Shotters. He said, uh, take Woo! that. He said, he, said, he said, take the weed, leave yes. the money. Yes. He said, take the what and My leave God. the what. He said, you so you sound stupid. He said, I want everything. Yes. And that's how God doing to you in this Woo! season. He don't I just want probably. half of your life. Woo! He don't just want. He don't, just don't want your talk. He wants your walk, too. He wants the places you go. He wants everything connected to you. Yes, God Lord. just don't want half. My he wants all of it. 
it. And that God is picking up the people. And God, if, if he can't get it out the church, he going to go in the ghettos. If he can't get it out the ghettos, he going in the slums. If he can't get it out the slums, he going to the homeless people. And he's saying, give it up. He said, I want your life. He said, it's some people you connected to. You got to give them up. He said, you might have to give up some relationships. He said, you might have to give up some people you knew for a long time. But your history, your history with a person is not worth your yes. future with God. God, God, Give listen. Y'all got to excuse me because I was just about to go into a holy God. I didn't expect that out of him. But listen, the prophet just said when the stick up kids came through, you can't give up just one side of your pocket. You 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 didn't just give up the 500 in, in this pocket. You had to come up out your shoes yes. and give up Everything. whatever money. Everything. Everything. That was in your socks. You got to come out your hat. And if you had money there, they wanted it. You got to come out your other pocket, your back pocket, your secret pockets. Lift your bras up and shake like you're being searched. You got to surrender everything. So within the year of 2004, 14, before the year ends, we are challenging you to surrender your will to yeah. to surrender your will to Christ and give up everything. everything. As the prophet said, when, when we begin to say everything, we don't mean that we're going to give up the smoking weed, but we're still going to pop a molly every now and then. We don't mean that you're going to give up the, the, the fact of uh, out there fornicating and sleeping around, but you're still going to hit the strip clubs every night. You don't choose the sin that you're going to keep. We decree and declare. We're challenging you. We're challenging you. It's a, it's a challenge. We are challenging you to surrender your will. Surrender your will to Christ. It's getting ready to be a Holy Ghost stick up. And listen, Alabama, Alabama, we are here. I'm here all the way from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It is going down tonight. We are letting God's will be done. There's no setup program. Whatever it is you're needing God to do, we're calling you out from all the surrounding areas. Evergreen, Alabama, Mobile, Alabama, we are here. I don't care if you got to drive two, three hours. We'll do it to go to Disney World. We'll do it to go out of town. If you're needing God to do something for you, you better come out. I'm telling you, the pro I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring a word, but the prophet is going to come through. The prophet always comes to confirm. The prophet is going to come through and confirm so many things that's been going on in your life. You don't want to miss this tag team effect. We hollering and we telling the devil we ain't never scared. Repo women, repo women and men, repo and souls for Christ. Y'all better get in. I hope to see you all there tonight. What's the address, prophet? The, the address going to be 107 Fifth Street, Evergreen, Alabama. And the people will be led there from this this address yes and yes, as yes. you come to this address you will be led to where you need to go at come don't miss it in mobile alabama at one o'clock sunday to we, three o'clock you don't want to miss it it will be such a worship and prophetic atmosphere we hope and to see y'all down we'll be posting about it i love you the prophet love loves you, you god loves you keep god first we'll see you tonight it's god. about to be a holy ghost sticker give it up god bless you